Okay, we're in Blender now. So this is our mesh. It's always very important when rigging a mesh and have a clean and nice deformation. Your topology needs to be very clean. And in this situation, the mesh was created very nicely. We have some nice edge loops around here. And things will work out if we're going to rig this and export it as FBX in Touch Designer. So first I press one. Okay, let me start the screen display. Okay. First shift A armature at a single bone. What I usually do is I in the data tab I set on X-ray, so when I'm moving the bones in front or in back of the mesh, I'm still able to see it like this, so very useful. Press 1 again, autographic view front. Tap for edit mode. I'm the bone menu I'm going to call this the lower back when I'm rigging a character for touch designer I try to follow the exact exact bone uh, namification touch designer does in the Kinect shop and they also name this bone the lower back so make it yourself a lot easier if you do it the same way so we'll select the bone again extrude place it here and we name this pelvis left because you always have to look at it from the point of view of the character and he's facing towards us so it's the exact opposite extrude again about here call this pelvis R Root to the knee. We call this the femur, and it's the right one. I made a typo here. Extrude this one. Pelvis. Oh no, uh, femur. L extrude with E call this the shin L extrude this shin R and the last one for the leg foot R foot L so we have left foot shin femur pelvis and the same one over here for the right so back to the lower back I'm going to place this a little higher Tap G, Z to isolate. 
out here extrude it by e z to isolate going to call this upper back extrude again for the shoulder Attach design and this bone is called the clave call. Shortly, clave. L. Need the right one. Clave R. Extrude. This is called the humerus R. We are on the right position for the left. So the humerus L. Extrude it above the wrist. Call this the forearm L sometimes when I extrude I type the E here so beware of that extrude and L in this side Forearm R Hand R So select the upper bone again extrude Z to isolate for the neck about here call this the neck From here, about here, the head. Okay, so this is our starting point. If you rotate, we see that the armature isn't exactly matching. So, what I usually do, I split the screen this one in front view, this one in side view. Let's start with the feet left one tap G to move it for this one as well ankle yeah it's nice okay the knees that's about right here don't have to be very picky about this let's put it roughly where I think it belongs uh, we can select these both G uh, that's about here and to select all these three joints together I usually press Z A to deselect hold control and if you're using left mouse select in blender in this case I need to press the right mouse button and select so I have all three of them so when I move it you know they're moving all together and they need to be around here yeah G move it about here this one these are already connected these these this one so I only need to select this one and everything is moving with them because they're parented to this bone 
and in this situation they're all three separate bones but I'll show you later out here yeah, that will do it now I go in top view and you can see that the arms aren't nicely lined up so put this one in front view select both shoulders G and Y to isolate about here the elbows G Y the wrists G Y and the tip of the hands G Y as well mm. Show this a little bit more just to be sure. Okay, check side view again. The neck about here, the head about here. So, armature is nicely lined up with the mesh, not the object mode, and now we're going to parent the armature to the mesh, so first select the mesh, shift select the armature, ctrl p, set parent to with automatic weights. And what happened now is that in the data tab of the mesh, Blender automatically created a bunch of vector groups. So when I hop into edit view, vertex mode, deselect. Blender automatically selected the vertices which are around this bone and in my opinion it does a pretty decent job. I'll show it in weight paint view, you can see it much better. going to switch off x-ray you can see it a bit better mesh weight paint see these are based on the bones we've just created and you see blender automatically paints the weights to the mesh you can do it by hand but it's quite a tough job even for a specialist so in my opinion especially around here the weight paint the automatic weight paint does a pretty decent job so think for our, our Kinect rig this will do the trick fine so let's go into object mode you can see over here that this higher key what I told you a couple of minutes ago They've created three separate bones. This is very important 
to have a nice rig into touch designer so we have the lower back and the two pelvises lower back is parented to the upper back you can check that over here here the lower back and the clavicle is parent to the upper back and so on so if you're expanding all these layers this is how it needs to look okay now we can check into pose mode how the mesh is actually going to deform press R to rotate X to isolate and you see it's deforming quite nicely X to isolate In my opinion, for an automatic system, it looks pretty great actually, so you can be picky about it, but it saves you a lot of time. Okay. Well, we're done with the rigging. Now let's export it. Select both the mesh and the rig. File, export, FBX. Um, what I usually do, I check this box, selected objects. Um, for me, when I export FBX to Touch Designer, I usually uh, drop down a scale by 001. Mm. Select Armature, Shift Select Mesh. We don't need all this. We don't have an empty, we don't have a camera and a lamp, so don't select it. Um, this can all be stated at default so export and that's it for now in blender so we've started a fresh clean touch design project and first of all, we're going to set up some standard jobs and tops. Geometry. Deleting the tours first, we won't be needing that. A camera. And the light. And the render top and finish it up with a null so I'm going inside the geo comp and let's see if the Kinect is actually picking up some data okay it's already picking up a lot of data so 
That's a good sign. In the menu, you first of all have to switch off world space positions because we only are using rotations. So switch it off and switch on the relative bone rotations. Okay. I'm going to lock it because it gets a bit annoying sometime. We'll get back to that. Start off with a null. Oh. And we now are going to isolate every bone with every rotation to keep things organized. So I start with a select job, refer to null one, and we'll start off just as with we did in the armature in Blender with the lower back. So there it is. Going to rename it to lower back R for rotations X, Y, Z. And as always, finish it up with a null. Call this one lower back. Select, copy them. And then we started the second bone was the pelvis. You see, when I delete this one, it has a left and a right version. So I have to rename it twice. Pelvis L rotation XYZ and Pelvis R rotation XYZ. Call this one pelvis. The next one, femur, femur, and it's the the shin it's probably a bit boring to watch me doing this but you have to get through it and you're probably going to thank me later um, we actually don't have a foot right here because in this Kinect job, the foot doesn't have a rotation, so we ended up with the chin, and now we're going to the upper back. So, upper back. 
upper back. Delete this upper back rotation XYZ. Yes. Upper back. Copy that one. The clavicle. Clavicle. We have a left and a right. Left. Rotation XYZ. Clavicle. Right. Rotation. XYZ. Yep. Nice and clean. Clever ball. Next one is the humorous. Humorous. Replace this. Humorous. And this one as well. Humorous and humorous. Humorous. Hmm. It's actually. Oh. Renamed the wrong one. Well. Do it again. Humorous. 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 Okay. Hmm. Next one. Forearm. one I guess yep the hands and 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 the hand Actually, it's the last one from the arm. We still have to assign the neck and the head. So we're not there yet. The neck and because we only have one neck we don't need a left and a right. So I Z. Neck. The same process for the head. 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 So, okay, now what we do is we are going to import our FBX, we've exported from Blender, so I'm going to look it up. Mm. Mm. 
There it is. Just drag it into your touch designer window and it will import. There it is. There's the mesh, the bone group, and the default material. And this is our armature. You can see what we did in Blender. This is the overall armature group. And there are three separate bones hanging underneath. And then all the other bones are parented in this hierarchy. So what I usually do is I'll select this Control X, delete this one and paste it over here. Okay. Clean and tidy. And now we are going to export all the rotations to the specific bones. So before I'm going to export all the rotations to the specific bones, um, I'm going to record some gestures and movements because I don't have an assistant or someone who wants to move or dance in front of the Kinect all the time. So I have all the time and the space to check all the incoming data. So what I usually do then is that I'm going to record a small amount of time and stand in front of the Kinect camera. Press play. And do the movements myself. That's me. Hello. So I'm going to unlock the incoming data. And because things are can get a little heavy when recording, I'm going to close down all the viewers, viewports, so we get a nice clean recording with no hiccups or jitters. So I'm going to pick a record job. I'm not going to plug it in because it will start recording immediately. You could also set this one to off. Well, we do that anyway, so okay. I'm probably going to need to trim it a little bit, so I'm going to put a trim chop between, close it with a null. And after that, we're going to convert this to a table. And with a file out that we're actually going to write a table in file format so we can use that file and hook it up to a dead to chop component. So 
So, this one is still moving. Yep. Close these viewers as well. Press record. And I'll do my thing for a couple of seconds. Press on. Oh, wait. I have to make this range a bit longer because otherwise it's going to loop and it's going to overwrite some data I've already recorded so and I want a nice clean constant flow of movement okay on So I'm back again, switches to off, and let's have a look what I've actually recorded it. Okay, that looks fine. I think I have to trim it a little bit. Which is the frames. Not that much. Yeah. This will be fine. Very important. Include names. Set this one to row per channel. Now we can actually write down a file. So select a location where you would like to export it. I've tested it a couple of times, so this one I will overwrite this one. Yep. And press right. There it is. Close this viewers. We doing this anymore. So now we're actually going to look for the file again with a file in close the window before this null is actually able to read this data we have to export this one to channels again yeah there it is and in order to animate this one we'll go to use a time slice 
Looks familiar. Yep. So in we won't be needing this anymore, but I'll leave it there for now. actually picking something up yeah in order to animate this time slice we have to put the range back much more because it's it's in front of the actual movement Pause it for a second. Uh, let's see how long this recording actually is. Um, 2600 frames. So we're going to type this 6279 6279 and if we press play yep there it is still stopped again mm. Mm. it actually has 3000 columns so let's try that one 3000 96 3096 3096 there it's again and I'll expect that it's going to loop after it reaches this frame number so we'll just continue with attaching all the bone rotations to the specific bones so just open them up We'll start with the lower back. Just drag it over here. Export. 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 You see things are actually starting to happen. This guy is showing his butt to me. Mm. we will continue with the pelvis. This is the left one. Export. 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 And the right one. Oh, you still want one. Exports, yep. Exports. Exports. Yep. 
me here. The lower back. The upper back. This one here over here. Exports. 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 The femur. Exports X. Export Y. Export Z. And now for the right femur. X. Y. Mm, and Z. Check it. Ah, I actually dragged over the chin. Um, okay. Same thing for the chin. Left one, the right one. Okay. The humorous. The left one exports. XYZ, yep. Check, yes. The forearm exports. The right one. If you do it right you only have to do this once so don't let it hold you back or intimidate you it's worth it okay the hand uh, I'm gonna close this one for a while and the neck So, we've attached every bone with the 
channel. Let's see what it actually did. There it is. Hmm. Bit of annoying. I'm gonna split this one. See it in the geometry viewer. Ah, that looks horrible. I think a lot of guys or girls experience the same thing when they were working with this. And um, it's quite annoying and it needs a lot of try on error. But I find a solution. So we're going to get back to Blender because the solution is over there. And um, we have to tweak the model itself and a little bit in Touch Designer, but not that much. But we did the hard work, won't take very long now before we actually have a mesh that is following our gestures, so stay tuned. So we're back in Blender with our mesh again. I'm going to put on X-ray again. Um, we've noticed some nasty rotations in our results in Touch Designer. And I did a lot of try on error and tweaking in Touch Designer in the pre-X form and the rotations. But after a while I realized that the solution is actually inside blender itself um, you have to rotate the bones in a specific manner um, I must say that for every mesh you make it's different so it's still a lot of try on error but after this tutorial I think it will be a lot easier to find the solution um, why your character is in such a weird position and the thing that I found is that the key bones for the problem is these two, the pelvises and the shoulders. Um, don't ask me how I came up with this value, but of a lost trial and error, I noticed that I have to roll this bone in a specific way. And for this mesh, it was actually to 70 degrees and for this one minus 270 don't ask me why but that's just the solution I came up with so um, and for the femur bone yeah it had to be minus 90 and positive 90. So that's it for the legs. So we'll just do a quick review if we're on the right track. Export it, 
selected objects, armature, mesh, point zero zero one. Um, this is a different name. So I'll just pick the second one. Export. And now let's see if this one works in Touch Designer. Just I have to look for my FBX. Drag it in. And there it is. Select Ctrl C. Oh, delete this one. That one. Ctrl V. And have a look. Press play. You see. Just check it in geometry view. That's already looking much nicer. We've managed to line up the legs. But there's still some weird thing going on with the shoulders. So we'll just get back to Blender. Tap into edit mode. It says zero. After some try and error the best solution I came up with was minus 80 for the right and plus 80 for the left. Add into object mode again. Select both. File. Export. We take the third one. This is all the same. Export. Back to Touch Designer. Drag the third one in. There it is. Copy this one. Delete this one and delete this one, paste, and there it is. Nicely lined up hips, shoulders. So that's how you can import a mesh from Blender into Touch Designer and hook up with your Kinect. I hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll do a bunch more videos in the future. but. It would be amazing if you could support us so we could invest more time in creating these videos. Because Touch Design is a wonderful program with a wonderful community. and But there's still a lot of things to learn. So let's bundle the forces, support each other. And do your thing.